It's Friday! Who is excited to be here with Kruger Kids tonight? I know I am. Chris has his hand up. He's excited to be here as well. For those of you who have headed back to school this week, I really hope that you've been able to settle back into things at school. Remember our lesson from last week though, if you are having some big emotions at the moment, remember that God has given you all of those emotions and they all serve a purpose. So talk them through with an adult that you trust, talk them through with God. He knows all about how you're feeling and he loves to chat with you about it too. That's right. Tonight we are going to keep thinking about how things work by taking a look at friendship. Now friendships might be looking a little bit different lately, but the basics of how they work definitely haven't changed. Not at all. We're going to jump over to the Pursue God crew to see what they can teach us about God and friendships. Now both of the clips tonight are called How Friendship Works. But they are a little bit different. Oh, hang on, I have to. They are a little bit different in the content for the different age groups. So click on the link in the description that's for Kids Club if you are in grades one to four. Uh, that's the one on my side of the screen. And if you are in hype in grades five to six, you want the one that's on Chris's. Chris's side of the screen. All right, and we will see you back here after you have jumped to those links. Who you are friends with really does matter. We know that everyone makes bad choices sometimes, and if we want our friends to never ever do anything wrong, well, we're not gonna have any friends. But in the Bible, God does tell us that hanging out with people who make bad choices a lot of the times can make us start to make bad choices too. We need to think really carefully about who we spend our time with and find friends who encourage us to make good choices. The hype clip talked about that too. God knew that we would need other people in our lives and that we couldn't do things on our own. At the same time, God wants us to make wise decisions about who we spend our time with. We can be kind to everyone, but the people we spend the most time with, who have the most impact on us, should be people who bring out God's best in us. And we should be doing that for them too. But we wanna see what you guys remember from tonight's video. So are you ready for some questions, Chris? I am ready. All right, and I'm hoping the kids who are watching and their parents are ready for some questions as well. Remember, I'm going to pop the questions up on the screen for you and you can pause the video to chat about your answer. And when you're ready to hear our answers, just hit that play button so you can compare what you thought with what we thought. All right, Chris is getting the first question tonight. Oh, and the first question tonight is, what are some qualities of a good friend? Hmm. Well, I think a good friend should be available whenever we want to talk about things. Uh, it should be friendly because that's in the name friend. <laughs> uh, it should be funny. I like funny friends. And those that can give us good advice as well are good friends and someone who's truthful and honest. Good advice there, Chris. I like that. It's important to have friends, good friends, and think about what we want in a friend. You're right. All right, I think it's my turn. You can ask the next yep. one. I'll ask the next one. So, how have your friends helped you to make good choices in the past, Sarah? Well, I know that um, when I was at school, in high school in particular, um, I had some friends who loved exercise, and so going for um, walks and riding bikes and things like that was important to some of them, which was really good because getting a bit of exercise, going for a walk is great. Nice to have a chat with somebody, nice to get some healthy exercise. That's a good choice to make. I also know that um, one of my friends um, hadn't been to church for ages and I invited her to come to church and she started coming along and then she encouraged me to invite more kids from my school to come along to our youth group. And so I did. And we ended up with a bunch of friends who all went to school together. Most of them didn't come to church, but they would come along to our youth group and enjoy the fun together on a Friday night. And it was a great opportunity for them to find out about Jesus. And so 
because my friend encouraged me to do that, I had the courage to do it, which is really good. Very right, correct. Um, this next one is read Proverbs 13 verse 20. What does this verse teach us about the influence that our friends have over us? Now, I think you're pulling out your Bible there, aren't you? I am. I better read it. <laughs> Proverbs 13 verse 20. Okay. It says, He who walks with the wise grows wise. But the companion of fools suffers harm. So, the people we hang around with, our friends at school, the playground, um, they can have a real influence on us. And let's say there's some kids who always get in trouble and do the, do the wrong thing and don't listen when they're supposed to listen. If you hang around with them for too long, you'll start taking on those habits and say, oh, I don't think I'll listen to. That's what I think this verse is talking about for the bad side, but the good side. If you choose some friends yeah. who are really good at listening to their parents, doing what their parents want them to do, listening to their teachers, doing the right thing, that'll rub off on you and you will do the right thing. So stick to them. I like that. That sounds good, Chris. All right. Is it my turn? Uh, yes, yeah, your turn. So I've got to ask you this question. What are some of the consequences of choosing friends wisely? And what are the consequences of choosing friends poorly? All right, let me have a think. Um, I guess if you're choosing friends wisely, then um, you're going to be making good decisions and they're going to be making good decisions and you're going to have um, some really fun times together that you can look back at and enjoy the good things that happen because of it. Um, if you're choosing friends poorly and the friends that you have are encouraging you to make bad decisions and you're encouraging them to make some bad decisions to fit in with them, then some of your memories of what you get to do with them will include getting into trouble. Um, and they're not great memories to look back on. When you look back and you think about the times you got into trouble, you want to think about the times when good things happened, when you got to celebrate and do amazing things, have great experiences with other people. Um, we we kind of imitate and copy the people that we look up to and you know friends we look up to our friends and we want to be like them so if we choose our friends wisely then um, we'll be looking up to and imitating people who do interesting and fun exciting things things that are good for us to do yeah all right sure. Well, thank you for chatting about tonight's Bible story. I think we answered those questions pretty well. I think we owe each other a high five. Can you do this? Can you... High five. Oh, hang on. High five. Yes, yes. High five. <laughs> it is so important to remember that God wants us to choose our friends carefully so that we can be a good influence on them and they can be a good influence on us too. You know, I know a couple of people who have a really good influence on me. Um... Megan and Darby are both amazing leaders, one each from Kids Club and Hype, of course, and they both have a really good impact, um, good people to be friends with. They're hanging out at their houses and they are ready to show us the games for tonight's program. So I'm ready for some games. Are you ready, Chris? Yes, I'm ready. You are always, always ready for games. Oh, yeah. All right. I hope, I hope everybody who's watching at home is ready to play some games too because here they are. Uh, here come, I think it's Megan first, I think. All right, we'll see after this jump. We'll see you guys after you've played games. Bye. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Chris, and everyone watching on YouTube and Facebook. Um, so glad you guys are joining in tonight. Special shout out to um, Axel and Jericho from Hype. I hope you guys are watching and having fun. Um, so tonight's first game is all about how we imitate or we copy our friends because we spend so much time with them. So for this game, you will need two pieces of paper and another person to play it with. I wonder who I can play it with. Oh, hey, here to I'm play so with me. <laughs> Long time no see. Yeah. Okay, so player one, would you like to hold that piece of paper? And I've got this piece of paper. Okay, and make sure that you have a 
pen or a pencil, but make sure that it won't break through the piece of paper and that you can see it quite clearly. And so we're going to have you, Chris, turn around. I hope you, uh, are you in frame? There we are. So Chris's back is going to be facing me and I'm going to stick my piece of paper on his back. Um, if you want to use a piece of sticky tape, you can. Oh, thank you. I've got some sticky tape right here. There we go. Thank Okay. So what I'm going to do, so the person at the back is going to draw on the piece of paper and the person at the front should have something in front of them like a wall or a window to lean their piece of paper up and they're going to try and copy what they can feel me drawing on the back. Do you think you can do that, Chris? Yep, I can do it. Okay, so I'm going to draw something quite simple. Some of you younger kids keep it simple and easy to play with, but some of you older ones want to go more complicated or complex, go ahead. So I'm going to draw something. Let's go. And I'm finished with my drawing. I'm going to show the camera my drawing. We can see if yours matches mine. I drew a house. Wow. wow. Mine was sort of. Sort of like a house. They're, they're kind of similar. I'm quite proud of that. Oh, that well was a done. good job. High five. Oh, <laughs> that was an easy high five. Um, so I hope that made sense. Now it's your turn. So make sure to pause this video and have a go. Find someone to play with. Um, and make sure to swap around after you finish so you both have a go of each roll. Have fun. Hi, guys. Good to see you again this week on Friday night. And I am... Um, I, at first, I want to shout out to um, Amity and Chloe. Hope you are joining in with us this Friday and have some fun with our game. And um, tonight, our second game um, will be build up the Lego bridge. So, how did you go with the first game anyway? Did you drawing? look like the one that was drawn on the other person's back. When we have friends who I was intimating, it was talking, taking the time to pay attention to them and learn from them. So um, when we work and play together with friends, we can learn a lot from each other. And we need to know how to listen from other people's ideas as well. Speak up and share your own idea and give um, things a try. And if it doesn't work, try it again, again and again. Yes, if it doesn't work the first time, it's okay to try another time. So tonight we are going to um, we've got a challenge for you to work on tonight. So you can take as long as you need to and work as a group with other people in your household. But if you don't have anyone, you can work on your own. So um, I want you to build a Lego bridge that will be strong enough to hold four cans of food. Just um, for example, I have one for you here like um you know a corn can you can find a bigger one but this is all i have in my cupboard at the moment yeah and um if you don't have any lego to use then you can create be creative see what you can find in your home that would be strong enough to build the bridge out of that and then cook whole four cans of food. Okay. So you are going to have to work together as a team, 
just like the guy or the Lego master. If you see that on the TV. If you're working by yourself and your parents aren't able to work with you on the project. Right now, ask them to give your, you a few tips before you begin and share your idea with them too. So what are you waiting for? Why aren't you press the pause button and go and find some Lego or other building material that can be a bridge? So how did you go with um, your building of your bridge? Did you manage to get it whole four can of food? I want you to think about how you work as a team on your project. Who was a great encourager? Who had a great idea? And who was good at doing the hard part of your plan? and who saw ways to solve the problem we faced. God wants us to have friends who encourage us and help us out when we need it. God wants us to be those type of friends to others too. As we play with our friends, God wants us to bring out the best in them and for them to bring out the best in us as well. So have you think about your friends that you enjoy spending time with? Think about the way that they encourage you and who comes up with the best idea in your friendship group. Which of your friends is great and solve the problem or helping people do difficult things? Spend some time thank God for your friends and remember to tell your friends that why they are important to you and next time you are talking to them. Back to you guys. Wow, thank you so much for all of that fun, guys. I'm really thankful that you guys are some of my friends. Now, remember, everyone who has joined in tonight and let us know um, is in, and they're oh, hang on. You've got to also be enrolled in the Kids Club and Hype program. That's really important. Um, you will get an entry into our $20 end of term prize draw. At the end of our term, someone will be winning. $20 from Hype and someone from Kids Club will also be winning a $20 gift voucher, which I think is pretty cool. If you want to earn a bonus entry into this week's um, draw, into this term's draw, then get your parents to take a photo of your completed bridge and send it to our Facebook page to show us how you went. Even if your bridge didn't end up holding those four cans of food, don't worry. We'll still give you a bonus entry. We want to see the crashed bridges and the bridges that stuck to it and made it. Um, if yours holds more than four cans of food, I would I would be very intrigued to see a photo of that. I know, you know, Chris, engineering, it'd be great, right? It would be All very good. I'd like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So send us a photo of what you built tonight. Yeah, thanks for joining in all the fun with Crew Your Kids tonight. We'd love for your family to join us on our YouTube channel or website, that's kruger.org.au, and our service on Sunday mornings. It goes up on the internet at 8.30, but just like our Kruger Kids program, you can watch it and join in at whatever time, whatever it suits you. You can be wearing your pyjamas, fine. It's true, it's true. And if Friday night, it's just you're too tired after a big week at school, then Saturday morning, no, hang on, Sunday, you can watch it Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Kids Club, we can do it in the morning, Sunday, <laughs> and watch it in the afternoon. I think I need a nap. It's too late. <laughs> All right, let's finish off tonight so I can go and have a nap um, by taking a moment to talk to God. So let's pray, everybody. God, thank you so much for the opportunity to spend some time learning about you tonight. Thank you, God, that you are my friend. And thank you that you want to be friends with everybody um, who's watching this program. We pray that... Um, you would take great care of all of the Kids Club and Hype families 
um, bring us back safe together again, we pray. And um, we thank you for all the fun that we've been able to have in our homes. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, Sarah and everyone at home, I hope you have a fantastic week. And remember, your leaders love you and they're praying for your kids. Bye, everyone. See ya.